Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now we're running into supply situations because of the huge influx of friendly troops in this region and the very poor infrastructure that is over here. So what we need to do, and I hate doing this, I feel like, eh, what, what, what's going to be better? I, w I wish I could tell them... What could I do? What could I do here? Well, let's take a look. Um, if we go to Romania, uh, 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 neighbors, um, they don't count as my neighbor. Oh, they don't count as my neighbor. You're up. Romania. There we go. Uh, can we? I can send them an expeditionary force. I can return their expeditionary force, but I can't request an expeditionary force. No, I didn't think that would fly. Loud debt, buy production license, can we buy anything cool from them? No. No. What I'm thinking is, is if I could ask them to let me use just like one of their army corps or something like that, that'd be great. But that's not an option. I want them to... I want, like, I want some of them in the area, but not their entire arc. God, this annoys me. This head annoys me so badly. All right, so let's send you you here and you over here. Because we're going to start losing these provinces soon to the to the Russians. Because they're going to, they have a little area to move through here. Uh, it's just a little frustrating that you can't better control this. You need to get detached. Oh, oh! I was gonna say, how did he? Ha Why does this guy have no supplies? It's because he's he's brand new. He's brand new. Well, let's do this. Let's uh, let's tell the Romanians to get the fuck out. Because frankly, they're doing nothing but. I mean, I wish I had them there and I could supply them, but I can't. It's just not feasible. Maybe we could tell them to... We could tell them to try this. Uh, something, and just send them somewhere else. And then maybe we could do this with the... We could try this. Uh, Italy. Italy. Tell them to, to come up over here. And the Italians should help me out here. Uh, we're a little lo low on officers, and I see I'm getting ground attacked left and right. So where are our fighters? Here they are, but... Uh, we got a lot of planes sitting in this. We got 15 units here. Move these ones up. Alright, and I bet this guy is probably... Yeah, he's getting sustained attacked. And you're missing something. You're missing... This guy is missing some recon. And we have some available recon nearby, don't we? We have this guy right here. Well, let's send this guy... up here, and then we can, we can dick around with that. Is this helping? Are these... Like, I sent these guys all out. Let's take a look at Revolt Risk. I don't know if they're good. They have some suppression. I don't know if they're going to have enough suppression to really do much. They do have some. Rocket artillery. Hag bomber. Cag's not too, too terribly important. Alrighty. I'm a little worried about things up here. I am a little worried. I will admit that. Uh, I didn't... I, I, I caused this problem, though. It was my own doing. So I can't complain about it too much. I mean, I see ground attack, and I see these guys set to air intercept, and I see them not also see them not doing anything. I also feel like I have fighters. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Sitting around doing nothing. Well, I love that you guys have the range to get all the way over there. Jesus fucking Christ! But could you not? Just. Uh, I wish it was a. Th I wish it was a thing. I wish you could just tell people very specifically what to do. That that's like my biggest gripe is like I I have very specific ideas in my head of what I want you to do, and you are not doing them, and it's infuriating me. That's generally what ends up happening. I feel like I have more interceptors or spread around somewhere. Well, there's some up here. These guys have been in the thick of combat, it looks like. I think the, the Soviet Air Force is getting its head off its butt. These guys are having supply issues, too. We shouldn't be having supply issues. Well, it is a, a kind of a big stack there. Well... Yeah, look at this. It, it, it's a little rough getting up here. 
we might need to stick on a little more infrastructure. Like, it's not bad. Like, this is okay right here. There's a line right here that's not too bad. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I know it's a lot of IC spent on infrastructure. And I... I, I know it's I, I know it's not the, the 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 best strategy in the world, but it's the one I'm going to go with right now because frankly, what I found the biggest problem to my fighting in the Soviet Union is lack of supplies, not lack of troops, lack of supplies. I don't know why, guys, but I've been really jonesing to play some Kerbal Space Program. Like, like, really, really badly, Jones, and like, I, there's nothing I want to do right now more than play some Kerbal Space Program. I have no idea why. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's in my brain, and, and, and I gotta I got scratch that itch. I don't, it might appear on the channel at some point. I know, I did it way, way back when I first started, and I loved it. Didn't get a lot of, uh, a lot of, um, uh, of, of support, because, you know, it's, the market's flooded, but at this point, you know that w that was me trying just 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 scatter shot doing whatever I, I I could trying a lot of different stuff. Ooh, strength increases. Now strength increases are something I feel are the the way to go. Now I I, I know there's debate on the issue, um, and I know that you know my situation is Seventh Army Corps. Uh, that's a Panzer division or a Panzer Corps. So we're gonna detach you from that. Hmm. What was I going on about? Strength increases, right. Because that, that's going to go, yeah, uh, right there. I prefer to have a smaller number of divisions that are larger rather than a large amount of divisions that are small. That's just my play style. That's how I like to play. Oh, Denmark, I forgot about you. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, it was just my garrisons fighting him. That's what that was. Oh, and my outliner. I forgot about you. Outliner is super important, and it is something I tend to forget about here and there. All right, now my infrastructure is going to, my new infrastructure projects are going to be done in a month. All right, so it's like, like I'm, I'm looking at this, and we're, we're, this section of the front's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. It's not until it gets past this choke point right here, and really, it's not till right here that it gets ugly and that's that is I think that's because that's where most of the, the the troops are like the Italians I don't get I I see them moving back and forth and back and forth it's like why don't you just go back or forth and don't do both part of the reason I was uh, I, I threw in that that ring that little pathway of infrastructure is because I I know one of the things I want to do is launch an attack right here and go right up over here and uh, surround Leningrad and get the Finns involved in the war because that'll be a huge help for me. Getting the Finns involved will bust a huge northern flank open on the Soviet Union. So that's that. that is going to be not the, I don't think that's going to be a major event. I think it's going to be a minor uh, offensive. It's not going to require a huge number of troops. Because what I'm basically going to do is surround Leningrad with my big guns and uh, either a starve ha like half starve it out and uh, half you know slowly bombard it with my specialized troops. And now that we're we're here, we need to do this. We organize these two units because these guys are getting the uh, elite light infantry. Got to remember about that. So let's move them down here. Give them a nice a nice bit of um, extra extra oomph in in diff difficult terrain. Ooh, the Italians are actually coming up over here. Look at that. Thank you, Italians. I see the Romanians moving along the front. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, it allowed me access to something else on here, I thought it said. I'm looking, I'm looking. Tank destroyer. Amphibious light tank's still on there. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. Huh. 
I thought there was something, uh, mechanized, ooh, mechanization of infantry. Mechanized infantry are so powerful. Boom, top of the list. And look at our officers. Ooh, let's uh, let's min-max. Uh, our officer ratio is very low right now. Very low. That's very bad. Uh, I hate to hit, take the, hit the tech right now, but if we run out, we're probably taking a combat penalty from not having enough officers. I don't see it on there yet, but we are taking a supply penalty. That's for sure. This is the only battle I need to worry about, and I do have a brand new, fresh infantry division. These check. This is the Slovakian infantry, so these guys were former Czechs, and they're doing uh, a fine job. Uh, they've been they've been fighting for me uh, for quite a while now, and they've been doing a fine job of it. So, with, like. How do, how do I tell the Italians what... I feel like I should be able to tell them to grab a couple couple areas and they'll form a line. I don't know if I can, if they will actually form the kind of line I want. So I'm going to let them go for a while and see what happens, I guess. Hmm. So, uh, like I was saying, tactically... Strategically, well, yeah, this is, I'd say strategically is the right word here. Uh, there's going to be an attack that's going to come up here. I would like it to, mm, we're going to have, we're going to have the Marines up here. So I think attacking into the swamps are going to be okay. It's not going to be too bad. But what we're going to do is we're going to move up here. I'm going to surround Leningrad. We're going to bring up our big guns, which means these guys are not needed down here anymore. Which means I can get them out of here. Let's, um, let's do this. Let's strategically redeploy them up here. Get them out of there, so they're not absorbing supplies, precious supplies that are going into here. I think they actually take a ton. 14 and 5.6. Let's see, a regular infantry division would be... Yeah, they take up as much... Uh, let's see, they take up as much supplies as, like... Well, the Panzers take a lot of fuel. Two pan Supplies of two Panzer divisions, like five infantry divisions. Right, so these guys, they're not, okay, they're, they're not getting supplies here, so let's, Sevastopol should be fine. Let's move them down there, because they're not getting supplies there. But these guys are getting supplies here, the heavy transport plane, so what we can do, where's going to be the, uh, right here is pretty critical. Air supply, no air supply for that region right there. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, start dumping in supplies. I mean, I wish the Italians were doing a little bit more. Like, I don't understand why they just... Look at this. Is it because the the grease thing? I feel like they just ran over, sucked up all my supplies, then we're like, fuck it, we're out. Alright, so we won this battle right here. Uh, they lost 17,000 troops to our 1,600. Thank you for the uh, the support here from this infantry division. These guys, look at the, these guys, they got wrecked. They got wrecked pretty bad. Oh, he's missing. Why are you missing? I I've, I've gone through multiple times and made sure that there was no, but no, but this entire defensive battle, he wasn't getting any experience. I went through so many times defensive doctoring, yeah. Well, let's take a look at the core. Oh, okay, well, let's do this. Let's pull open the third army. Which is this one, right? Uh, third army. All the cores. Yep, you're good. You're good. You're good. Good. It was just that one guy. Somebody did tell me that a lot of times when events, when units spawn, it'll take the historical commander from wherever they are and put them... Let's pause this. And put them uh, onto the new, newly formed division. And I think what's hap what happened a couple... Yep. Right there, right there. This guy right there, I know he didn't... Ha he, they must have gotten absorbed off. Alright, so we're gonna go skill level. Skill level is the best thing. Well, should I be... Well... Sheer. Hmm. Is it, uh, like, I feel like they should. those guys should be in charge of cores. But I have so I have so many good commanders. I feel like it's perfectly fine. Yeah, let's just start grabbing them. This is probably a good thing to do more often, just to make sure. Let's check out the first Panzer division. Gadarian better still be in charge of one of his corps. Oh, R Rommel. Gadarian's in charge of the army. 
Rommel's in charge of the core. Just going down the list here. Yeah, look at this. Eighth Panzer Division, nobody in charge. Damn it. Defensive Doctrine, go for it. Hate that it takes... I mean, it makes perfect sense, but I hate that it does. You know, I think the eighth one was one of the newly formed ones, actually. That's probably what that was. I bet that's any... Because I'm pretty sure I remember the... The eighth being one of the ones that event spawned. Where are these guys? Naval bombers. That's weird. So we're still fighting. Ah, the infantry showed up. I was about to say, we're still fighting over here. The infantry showed up. Yeah, the Romanians left. The supply situation's getting better. I mean, the Italians are, are here, but they're not doing much. I mean, there's... They're basically they're sending heavy tanks across the mountain ranges. That's what they're doing right now. And the AI is is piss poor at some things. It's like, okay, okay, we have we're Italy. We have mountain divisions. Let's take our heaviest tanks available and drive them across the Caucasus. God damn it. Oh, the AI in this game. I I Part of me is super... Oh, shit. So part of me is really looking forward to... Oh, the Italians are almost there, actually. Nope, we lost. These guys have no supplies. That's bad. I'm hoping the Italians can help out right there. Uh, let's... Well, they're dropping supplies there. These guys should have the range to get up here. Do this. Uh, air supply this region, yeah. Should be able to do it. That's a little scary. That is a little scary. And it's a shame, too, because they had a dug-in defensive position. That sucks. Organization, zero. Zero. I'm, I'm watching it, and they're, not, they're just not getting their supplies over here. And I think it's because of this right here, right now. I mean, the infrastructure over here is not great, but like, it's worse It's worse down here, and it's further out. Yeah, they're getting choked up right over here. I don't like that my infantry divisions are so spread out. But moving them is going to be problematic. All right, so you can attach to the 4th Corps. And take up a spot on the line. Hmm. Just kind of thinking to myself at this point, what's, what, what's going to be beneficial? What can I do and where can I do it? No supplies. I think when the Romanians get out, I, you know, I, I thought it was a brilliant idea to send them in. I'm like, yes, ton, tons of fresh troops. And then they arrived and it's like, oh, we don't have any supplies. Well, look at this. The Italians did something useful. They plugged the gap. And the supply situation is getting better. It is getting better. Uh, it's not wonderful, but it's getting better. I can live with it. I can live with it. The Italians look like they're le they are leaving some troops over here, which is good. Somebody was saying, looks like Ben pulled uh, pulled a Magnus in uh, in the Caucasus again. Pulling a Magnus is when you basically bite off more than you, you could choose, send out units to capture strategic points, then you're unable to, uh, you know, hold them. And uh, I, I, was, I was like, it was in the comment section, I was like, you know what, I don't think it's called a Magnus, it shouldn't be called a Magnus yet. It should be only be call called a Magnus when you are, you know, completely out of it and you can't, you can't do anything. It's like, it's not a Magnus quite yet. I still have hope. And I, 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 there was still hope there. I mean, we didn't lose anybody. Where's that last? Oh, there's, there's the Marines. I think these elite light infantry are going to make the Marines uh, a fighting, a fierce fighting force. Lots of Fs. Fierce fighting force. I do love alliteration. All right. Well, the year's almost over. It's almost 1941. Let's, uh, let's speed up through this. I mean, nothing much is going on right now. I'm not going to be launching... I'm, I, I'm seriously not going to be launching any attacks. 
I think uh, removing uh, the fuck did I fucking hell did I, I I bet I did the goddamn fuck it. I, I, I think what I did was I told the fucking, um, core to leave, but not anybody else. Damn it. I hate it when I do that. And these guys are moving at more than 1.1. I feel like they're moving faster than that. Well, the Italian's got a nice little force in here. That's good. There's a line. More efficient laws. Total economic mobilization can be enacted in... Oh, at least 1941. So, 20... I'm going to get 5th plus 50% IC. Uh, less money. Leadership modifier goes down. Consumer goods uh, during wartime. Down. In peacetime. Economic... Oh, officer recruitment. Uh, so, I'm going to lose some leadership, but I'm going to get more officers. Yeah, we're going to go for that. And my officers are almost back up. Which is good. Because once, oh, and, a d ooh, oh, it's because it's the new year, it's 1941. Espionage focus, our national unity could be higher, so we're going to increase our national unity. Uh, third right, yearly national focus. I think this time we're going to be doing Die Wehrmacht. Because we need more troops on the ground. Long-term investment, yep. Industry fine tunes the war machine. Ooh, the more SS divisions. Boom. Viking. Good. Good, raise them. Das strike. Good. Uh, two times infantry division in January. Oh, yep. Uh, 112th and 129th infantry divisions. Form them both. Good. All right. So all the new New Year stuff has been taken care of. Yeah, the supplies, without the Romanians, I mean, I'm a little surprised that there was more Romanian units than Italian. Yeah, look what these guys, look what they did. They marched all the way from Italy, around Yugoslavia, around Hungary. Ooh. Okay, now the now the Russians are, are, are getting involved. So they marched around Hungary, around Romania, through Mother, through Ukraine, into Russia, you know, you know, through Crimea, across the Straits of Kerch here, and then turned around and came back. Winter has come. Heavy. Okay, yes. Uh, we're gonna save our money. <sighs> Look at that. I see. It just jumped up. Hitler's stand fast order. It was a hard time on German army on the Eastern Front. Momentum ground slowly to a halt as the temperatures dropped. It is not an overestimation to state that after six months of continuous fighting, morning casualties, dreadful weather, and supply lines which were overstretched, the Wehrmacht was close to collapse at the end of November of 1941. Uh, that's a year off still, though. In December of 41, 500,000 Soviet troops launched the Soviet Winter Offensive. On December 8th, before leaving for Berlin, Hitler, in response to the Red Army's offensive, issued a directive to the commander of Army Group Center, Field Vosch Marshal von Bock, while conceding that the severe winter weather and constant supply difficulties require the troops around Moscow to abandon all major offensive operations and go on the defensive, he would sanction no withdrawals unless fortified lines could be prepared close by as rallying points. Given the difficulty of erecting such lines in frozen and forested terrain, the exposed units on the front entertain few hopes of relief. So this gives us, uh, until, for, all, for this winter, we get a uh, defense, basically... This is all, yeah, yeah. Casualty trickle back. So casualties won't trickle back in as, as quickly, but it, it's going to make it easier for me to defend my land. My gains. My land. It's not mine. I fucking took it. These guys are out of supplies. That makes sense. They're, like, sitting on the supply line. So we, we are getting these guys set up. I mean, they have some suppression, so I imagine they should be doing the trick. Or at least helping out. Uh, well, let's look here. Is it this? Is this the number? Seven. Three, seven. Nine point three. Seven. Well, if we look up here, it's more like ten. So they're making a difference. It's just not a huge difference. I'm not sure if they're sa if they're saving supplies or costing supplies. Like, what is this? What? What? What is going on here? Did you do you see this, guys? Look at this. They've abandoned the line. It's just, they're just pulling away from it. And it looks like they're moving everybody north towards Leningrad. 
they've just pulled out of this line here. They're, they're gone. It, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. I can't believe they do that. Well, we're going to leave this for later, though. If you have enjoyed this episode, everybody, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.